What is beyond the pale? I don't know. We're gonna find that out right now. Just, just watch the rest of the video. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Ruski review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Beyond the Pale Brewing. Uh, Beyond the Pale Brewing. There's no company on the end of that name, but that's cool. This is, yes, by Beyond the Pale. This is their Grapefruit Wheat Pink Fuzz. Strong beer, coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. And no listed, no listed IBUs. They are out of the, ooh, Ottawa. I don't know out of Ottawa. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool looking logo. Uh, white picket fence, black background, uh, wheat or barley, grapefruit up top. Kind of cool. It's just called pink fuzz, but everything's done in red and black and white. Kind of kind of weird. Kind of jumbled up. But we'll get to the uh, can design in a bit. I don't have any nails. I just cut my nails. We need to pop this top just like. There we go. That works. Finally, I am coming off a cold. So I can come back and review beers without any issues of me smelling or tasting because you know colds do that to you they make you they make you not smell and taste things correctly so i needed to get over that before i got back into the beer reviews with that said let's pour it up into my great lakes pop can style glass gonna be a decent size there's gonna be a big head i can already tell just the way that i poured just the way that i poured it touch touch aggressive which is fine big huge head on this very golden um yellowy golden kind of beer lightly hazy actually decently ha hazy moderately hazy can't really see through it a little bit right in the light you can see shadows but not looking in the light it's a it's a bit hazy it's not super crazy at all but decently hazy let's have a smell I'm, I'm, wait before i have a smell it's not pink it's called pink fuzz i see a lot of fuzz i don't see any pink that's fine let's have a smell Oh, wow, wow, that actually smells really good. Piney, grapefruity. Oh, that smells really nice. That smells like a nice <clears throat> pale ale. Is it a pale ale or is it an IPA? No, this is grapefruit wheat. I'm confused. But it smells really grapefruity. That smells really nice. Yeah, big grapefruit, citrus notes. Smells sort of like an IPA with the hoppiness of it. But it says it's a grapefruit wheat. Let's find out. Let's have a sip. Oh yeah, whoa, that is weird. Hmm. Um has the body and some undertones of like a wheat beer because it's easy easy drinking and not super bitter. But the grapefruit flavor in here. Is that of a very well done like pale ale or session IPA? That's exactly how I put it with the nice citrusy notes of it. That's it. It has like the body and undertone flavors of a wheat beer, but with the grapefruitiness of a very well done pale ale or session IPA. But it's not bitter really at all. It's pretty low. Uh, website doesn't have anything for the IBUs, <clears throat> and Untapped is showing it coming in at only 20 IBUs, which makes a lot of sense. This is a, it's pretty good. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, the grapefruit in here is phenomenal, and the wheat beer portion of it, just that very light, slightly bready breadiness of it just dances on your tongue and it goes down so damn smooth with n very very low bitterness but the flavors like i'm like i've been saying that grapefruit really good grapefruit from like a pale ale or a session ipa are in that mixed with, with other citrus notes it's a good balance of in my opinion both styles at least when it comes to pale ales and uh session ipas the grapefruit citrusy side of things but wow quite shocked quite shocked indeed let's look on the can 
So from Beyond the Pale Brewing, Grapefruit Wheat Pink Fuzz. Like I said, 6% alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs. Um, description, here we go. Yes, this beer contains grapefruit, but don't call it fruity. Subtle citrus bite in a delicious pale American wheat ale is enhanced by a slightly sweet finish. This ain't no dessert drink, it's seriously tasty beer. At Beyond the Pale, we believe in fun. The beer should be fun to make, fun to drink, and fun to share. Enjoy. We're really good at this. Nice descriptions of both the beer and the brewery itself. Independently brewed in Ottawa, Canada. At Beyond the Pale Brewing at 250 City Center. Blah, 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 blah. In, um, what should we call that? Address? Well, you'll, you'll see it when you go to the website. Don't worry about it. Artwork is by Stephen Fru. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Ingredients are water, barley, wheat, hops, and grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit and yeast. Wow, grapefruit in French is papillamousse. What's the fuck? Papillamousse. That's a fun word to say. Very. It's a nice can design. It's kind of creepy. Doesn't really. Um, you'd think you, this would be more of like a porter or a stout sort of style a can, but it's a very light, very fun at going beer. This is more of a, um, more of a dark and kind of scary, a little intimidating can. Um, other than that, everything seems to be a little jumbled. I mean, the artwork is very forefront, front and center kind of thing. But it, it just seems like you gotta turn your head to read, and then you gotta turn it back, and then you gotta turn it again. It's, it's not ergonomic for reading and all that stuff. But it is a good beer. Thoroughly enjoying this beer. Moving over to the website, which is BTP. Oh, I'm on the shop portion. Go, let's go home. Uh, oh, it's just btpshop.ca. Cool. Um, sadly, there's no real beer section. You go to the reserve and uh, collect. You go to the cans section and you scroll down. They got a few, which is nice. And you go to Pink Fuzz. Then you have the beer, a nice picture of it with a skyline in the background. Alcohol content, it's called grapefruit wheat. Then there is a separate description, different from on the can. We're going to read that right now. Not your Bavarian grandfather's wheat beer. Rather than adorn the glass with a fresh slice of citrus, we chose to brew the entire batch with variable orchids or orchards of grapefruit zest. This American style wheat beer utilizes a West Coast American hop bill to emphasize the use of citrus in the brewing process. Moreover, mimosa, this town ain't big enough for the both. Oh, sorry. Move over mimosas. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. I gotta say, never had a mimosa, but I would take this in the morning rather than a mimosa. Just so light, yet so flavorful. It could be a solid breakfast beer or a solid brunch beer. I could get down with that for sure, and I think you guys could too. Finally, moving over to Untapped Pink Fuzz by Beyond the Pale Brewing Company has been given a 3.69 bottle caps out of 5. Solid rating. That's out of, wow, over 5,700 reviews. So, a lot of people have had this beer and I have enjoyed it. With that said, choosing the final sip. Let's get right to ratings. It's good. It's light, but it's flavorful. The grapefruit is really well done. It's a great balance with the nice wheat beer characteristics. Moving into that, um, Pale ale, like grapefruit flavor of pale ales and session IPAs. Really, really well done with a nice big citrusy note to boot. Some orange, some lemon. Amazing. Goes down really, really smoothly. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I think it deserves a solid... Just because it's so, it seems it's slightly different than what I'm used to, it deserves a solid 8 out of 10 for me. As for presentation... I'm not a big fan of it. It has good information, has descriptions, uh, ingredients. I didn't check on for a brewed on or best before date. It is not there. 
Um, but it has descriptions of the, the beer, the brewery, ingredients, alcohol, kind of cool, I guess, design. I don't know. Not really my thing. Website. Nice that they have a little bit of a description, different description of the beer, but still um, kind of lacking. Overall presentation. Presentation gets a 6 out of 10 for me. Not really my favorite, but nothing new, uh, nothing to frown at really. With all that said, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Ruski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Ruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.